The way I always say it, man, growing up on the beach and fishing, when I'm on the water, I didn't have to worry about home. I didn't have to worry about issues. It, it, it clears your mind. You know, being on the water, it's just so much clarity. And it's like at peace, it's some therapy that money can't buy. But there's just something about being out in, in the elements, man, that, that do it for fishing. Hello, I'm Kevin Brannon, founder of the Real Guppy Outdoor Program here in Port Wainimi, California, the coolest place on the planet. By uh, fifth grade, I got from living with my aunt and uncle, my mom she got out of drug rehab, my brother got out of YA, so we're kind of almost like a family again, you know? My dad overdosed when I was six, my brother's dad's doing life in prison, so that's just kind of the way we grew up. You kind of learn how to adapt to it. By the time I moved out of my mom's house at 15 years old, I wasn't gonna live on a motel room floor any longer, and she was living in here with my brother, 15 years old, and I think I just had about enough of that at that age. I just always knew there was something more for me to do, something bigger for me to do. Inside I knew that, you know, and I've just been, I've been living that grind ever since. I've loved fishing my whole life. Next to my house is a creek with the brown barrels behind a motel that we used to fish in for crawdad and carp and stuff like that. And that's how I started fishing out here about seven years old on the Port Wainimi Pier using a drop line with a hook I'd find on the floor and a little piece of bait out of the fillet and sink and start fishing. And it just kind of escalated from there. The Real Guppy program is a program that I started here locally, knowing that our neighborhood needed something positive for kids to do, something free in our own backyard in our community, a way to show kids and expose them the outdoors and fishing that might not normally get an opportunity to do so. It's a way to teach them about the ecosystem, about being stewards, and most of these kids don't even go to the beach. And without our Guppy program, a lot of them wouldn't get this kind of exposure to adventure. But where we started at, you know, five years ago before we were a nonprofit, to where we're at now, it's definitely grown bigger than we imagined, and it's even getting bigger. More people have caught a memory with us in their first fish than I think anywhere else. We've taken over 1,600 kids out fishing, catching a memory that lasts them a lifetime, and also starting new adventures for families. The Royal Guppy Outdoor Program basically all started with family, right? Dad has this idea that he wants to start a fishing club that takes kids out fishing, so it started with the kids. All my kids started fishing at a young age, working on fishing boats. As soon as they could come out and walk and, and come out with Dad, they're on the boat, all my kids. And it's a family organization. All these kids come out and give back and they're part of the, of the Guppy program, so they get a chance to learn about being volunteers, do, again, their dad's vision, and it's, it's, it's heartwarming, you know? My kids have been in it gun-ho since the beginning. And I could see them now getting older, taking part in the things that they do, leading by example and, and getting hands-on and helping out more because of what we instilled with them at a young age as far as what, what our jobs are here on Earth is to help and give back. So by them seeing their father give them true testimony to what one's vision and dream can bring and letting them be a part of it, I think it's great. You can ask for something better than that, you know? And they work for hugs, so, you know, it <laughs> keeps the cost down. Fishing does have different things that it teaches you besides just catching a fish, you know? And it's proven. So we're teaching these kids to fish so they can eat forever and ever and teach their kids how to fish, so. Fishing, again, it's not just about catching a, a big trophy fish you could put on the wall. It's about learning some of life's lessons as well. Part of the Channel Islands National Marine Sanctuary is, again, the wildlife. When we take the kids into the channel and you can see dolphin coming around the boat, the kids get a chance to see dolphins riding the waves and again, getting to experience that. To see this with their own eyes and to hear them jumping up and down on the boat, excited to see this, man. It makes even our volunteers get teary-eyed. Our program is educating the kids on, on how all this stuff works. Again, healthy ecosystems, stewardship, how we all play our part. And again, exposing them to this nine miles off in their own backyard in the Channel Islands National Marine Sanctuary. It's just, it's, it's wonderful. I live in my dream every day with my family. Would I love to do fishing for our industry, teach people about the Channel Islands National Marine Sanctuary. I mean, I get to do everything that I want to do. I'm like a big kid. I get to share that with my kids and then they'll share it with their kids. And that's basically what fishing's all about, right? 